Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the Canon EOS C300 Mark II video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Wi-Fi remote functionality of the camera. Now before we actually talk about that, you need to know that in order to do this, you need the WFT E6. And it's a little unit that attaches right to the C300 Mark II and it allows us to transmit that Wi-Fi data from the camera system to an external device. So now we're gonna go into our system setup menu and I'm going to scroll down to network settings. And this is quite easy to do now. We're gonna go into network settings, browser remote, and we wanna go into activate. And we are going to activate the browser remote and take a look at the screen. This is giving us key information. So we have our SSID, and that's actually going to be what we see for our Wi-Fi network as well. And if you have two or more of these cameras on set, you'll want to make sure that that ID is different for each of the cameras. Password by default, very easy to remember, 1234567878. And again, that's a default, which we can change. And then we have our URL or our IP address, which by default is 192.168.0.80. So just remember that information. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go into system setup and assignable buttons. And what I've done is for the camera body, I have assigned status to button number eight. You can assign it to whatever you want. And when I press button number eight, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me all of the information about how the camera is set up. I wanna go to the last page. So yes, there's a lot of other information here, but in this case, on the last page is the information I'm looking for. So there's different ways that we can access the remote browser functions on here, and it's really about different users. The first user would have full control, and the username for that, by default, is full, and of course you can change it. The second user would just have camera control, and that username is camera, and then if you just want somebody to enter metadata using the browser remote, then they also have their own username, which by default is Meta. Also, if I just go to the previous page here, I can see that my IP address is easily accessible from here. So if you forget what it is, you can just jump into here. And so that's why it's so important to assign status to one of the buttons on the camera. So now that I have all of that key information, it's time to connect to the camera system using the browser remote with a laptop a smartphone or a tablet. First thing we need to do is connect to that ad hoc Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna go into Wi-Fi and turn that on and press that. And then I have to put in that password. And that password, if you remember, is by default one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and say join. And we're just gonna let it connect to that network. Next thing, step out of that, launch a web browser. I'm going to go into a web browser and we're going to type in that IP address. And that is 192.168.0.80. So now we're going to be presented with this window. And what we have to do is put in our username and our password. Username for full access is capital F, lowercase ull for full. And then we'll go into the password. And our password again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then log in. So now we have our browser remote up, and the first thing we're gonna do is press live view. And when we do that, we get a feed of our picture from the camera system. And we're also seeing, because we have it turned on, our face detection, our AF features. And so what I'm gonna do is go down here to focus and choose that, and we get our focus options in the browser remote. This is fantastic when you have this camera up on a jib, maybe it's on an 18 foot jib somewhere. For instance, right now I see that I'm on one shot. I'm never gonna be able to get to that one shot button on the actual camera body, but I can go in here and change that and I can change it to continuous. So huge control in here with the browser remote. There's also windows in here so that we can actually add our metadata. And then over here, if we just wanted to have it be really, really simple, we could press live view here, just get our picture and we can start and stop. And that's definitely better to use if you're in this portrait mode rather than landscape. 
So that's the browser remote, and all you need to use it with the C300 Mark II is the WFTE6. Lots of uses on set when that camera's out of the way, when you want somebody like a client to take a look at something, or you just need somebody to take something like a smartphone and start and stop the camera. Awesome stuff. That is the browser remote feature with the C300 Mark II.